Here we are, Alex, for the city of Lake Swapit. We're going to show how to scrape and brush your skis. First, we start by cleaning the groove of the ski up using a groove pin. If you just push the groove pin, wax flies all over the place. It's a helpful hint to cover the groove pin with your hand. Run it right down the ski. That cleans out your groove. Now we're ready to begin scraping. And the most important thing with waxing is that a clean, clean wax space is a happy wax space. So notice my scrapers are clean and sharp. Every single time I use my scraper, I sharpen it. The most important thing with scraping is to hold it properly. This is a very sharp tool and you can damage your skis if you're not careful. So hold the scraper with your two pointer fingers on each corner and thumbs in the middle and push the scraper rather than pull it. This allows you to have total control of the scraper. And using long, light passes. Because the scraper is sharp, we're cutting the wax off in thin sheets like that rather than chipping it. And if in doubt, if you should continue to scrape or stop, take your scraper and put it down. Brush less and uh, scrape less and brush more. When we brush, we start out with a stiff brush, which will remove a lot of wax in a hurry. This is a stiff white nylon brush. And you'll notice that this brush removes a lot of wax in a hurry. We have an interesting experiment going on here, which you'll figure out in a moment. <laughs> That's a stiff nylon brush. Next, we're moving to a soft metal brush. This is a fine steel brush. With metal brushes, it's important that you only move the brush from tip to tail, not back and forth. We're going to finish off the horsehair brush, which has very fine, very soft bristles. Think of brushing a ski almost as if you're standing a piece of wood with sandpaper. If you start with a rough piece of wood, that's, that's very rough. You need to start with a coarse piece of sandpaper and work away to finer pieces of sandpaper. So, so here, notice these three sections of wax. This is the wax that we brushed with the coarse nylon brush. Notice the big coarse pieces. Next is the wax that we brushed with the steel brush, medium-sized bristles. Notice the medium pieces. And finally, this is the wax that we brushed with the horsehair brush. Uh, very fine bristles yields a fine dust-like substance. Finish this all off now. Get back here. All three brushes. It's very important to work with your eyes. So. We've gone through and brushed the entire ski. It looks pretty clean now. If you take a close look here at the base, you will not see any wax on the running surface of the ski. And it's very important to visually inspect it. Up here, I see a little bit of wax left that I need to brush out. So I'm going to go back to that spot and hit it again. job of scraping and brushing. Last step to clean off the ski. So we're just going to take the five walls of the ski, clean off any wax drops, clean off the edge. Sometimes the details make the difference. You don't want to put a hundred dollar wax drop on your ski and leave it all floppy inside. Believe it or not, wax runs inside your ski. You drag on the snow and slow it down. differences in the details for sure.
Kraski for you. <laughs>